What's good, y'all? It's Jay Coffee. How's everyone doing out there? Tap in with me and get this coffee, this daily news. You see, we're talking about Tupac, Drake, Dr. Dre, uh, you know, a few different co- stories to cover. So smash them buttons for me, the like, sub, bell, all that good stuff. Stay tapped in for the daily content. But let's get right into this, man. You guys see the video playing there. And for real, man, I really want to get into this and discuss this. You see, these are uh, two Tupac chains, matching Tupac chains that Drake had customly made for him by a jeweler known as Jason of Beverly Hills. And you see it, you know, uh, two, two Tupac pieces, one red, one blue, yellow and white gold, yellow and white diamonds. Word is, you know, Drake dreamed this up himself. This was his idea. He took it straight to the jeweler and said, this is what I want made. And word is they cost 300 K a piece. And you see Drake shared via social media, always wanted twin Jesus pieces. Thank you, Jason of Beverly Hills. And um, I don't know, like I said, let's talk about this. You know, how? what do you guys think of this? We see Tupac name use a lot i mean you know obviously arguably the greatest rapper of all time and you know we've seen him brought back holograms um you know the tupac discussion can go on in many ways you know you know a couple years ago we started seeing suge knight's son talking about Pac really is indeed alive and you know claimed to have receipts and video but we found out you know that wasn't exactly true at all You know, he tried to say he was alive living in Malaysia, you know, uh, then just a few months back. uh, There's, you know, word of a new Tupac movie coming out, uh, you know, uh, a fiction story. But they're kind of trying to lead you to believe that it could quite be true that Pac did fake his death and is living uh, on a Native American reservation in like Albuquerque or New Mexico or something of that nature. I can't remember exactly where it's supposed to be, but you know, it's Tupac, you know, uh, like I said, the, the goat it's happening in the comments and let me know if Pac is the goat to you. But my point for bringing this all up is a lot of times, you know, Tupac fans and stuff like that, you know, are like, Hey man, you know, we love Pac, but we get sick of seeing Pac's name used all the time. And, you know, there's been certain features where people were mad about certain artists getting to Pac features since his passing, you know, it was like Pac would have never worked with him. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day with this situation, what do you guys think with, with him getting these Pac pieces made up like do you think he's honoring Tupac by doing this do you like the jewelry like what are your thoughts on that you know but I also got to tap in and see what you guys think as far as making Pac into a Jesus piece because as we see that's what this chain is modeled after the Jesus pieces which the first rapper I ever seen or known to have a Jesus piece was Biggie you know biggie had the the jesus piece way back and i think they look cool i think they're they're uh they're they're nice um and we've seen a lot of different variations come of the jesus piece over the years um we saw a uh, rapper the game he d- actually dropped an album called jesus piece and when he was promoting that album he was wearing a jesus piece that was wearing its own jesus piece uh, we seen fabulous he had two jesus pieces kind of similar to what drake did here with the tupac jesus pieces you know what i mean one white one yellow like fabulous chain we seen everyone almost it seems like you know down the road rock a jesus piece at one point in their life i personally had a jesus piece and you know mine was not worth anything close to you know what these rappers chains are worth uh but you know we have heard there is some rappers that be rocking the fake jewelry you know but hey it is what it is you know i'm not, I'm not just talking about like wannabe rappers or rappers who ain't got money like that i'm talking about rappers that really got bread like that sometimes wear fake jewelry you know in case they get got but when i'm saying all this like what is your thoughts on this period you know like the jesus piece um what do you guys think about it uh is it disrespectful you know as far as like 
on a religious level? You know, do, is it disrespectful uh, to Jesus? You know, we've heard over the years, um, you know, uh, Kanye West brought it out with the diamonds from Sierra Leone video that a lot of diamonds are conflict diamonds. And, you know, people get their arms cut off and, and little kids get their arms cut off and are enslaved, forced to mine these diamonds, you know. And uh, they always tell everyone when you go uh, jewelry shopping, make sure to ask for conflict free diamonds, blood diamonds. We saw the movie Blood Diamond, you know. So a lot of people feel it's just very, you know, doesn't make sense to rock a religious piece you know uh that costs this much money and that could possibly have conflict diamonds like i want to know your thoughts on it and then now you know we're seeing Pac, uh you know like a jesus piece modeled after Pac. so you know what are your thoughts on that is that too much to i, I don't know i want to know what you guys think i personally think it's cool i like them but, um, you know, I've been seeing a lot of different people feel a lot of different ways. So tap in in them comments and let's talk about this. Um, you know, the Jesus piece, all that. Now, I got some other news regarding Dr. Dre. Like I said, if you guys recall, a few weeks back, word hit that Dr. Dre's longtime wife since 96, 24 years. That's a long time. That's a half a, or I'm sorry, a quarter century about. And, um, you know, Nicole young she came forward and uh asked for a divorce and it leaked out to the media and everyone was going nuts you know talking about dr dre he built this billion dollar empire he's gonna lose it to his wife what's gonna happen what's the deal well now there's some new news that has come out uh dre has shared that he does indeed have a prenup so you know uh hopefully you know things get worked out and they both walk away in good position you know what i mean when it comes to money i mean don't get me wrong i'm not rich i've had some money at some points in my life um you know when when a family you know should look out for each other even if they're separating you know now i'm not saying a chick should um you know marry a guy and you know hope there's no prenup divorce them and you know clean them out no but if you know you had a long marriage like dre and nicole did in this situation um, you know, she should walk away with a little something, you know, to keep her comfortable and, you know, the, the whole family should be good. And I'm sure that's what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Dr. Dre, uh, I mean, we don't know this guy personally, but you know, Dre's not the kind of guy you hear people, you know, oh, doing business with Dre. I ended up with nothing. He robbed me. I've never heard that about Dr. Dre, you know, and, um, he seems to be a very family oriented dude. So, uh, you know, just wanted to share this, that there is indeed a prenup, you know, word was hitting. Everyone was tripping. Dre's going to get cleaned out, man. This is nuts. And they're saying his net worth is 800 million, not actually a billion, <laughs> still a hell of a lot of money, you know, but, um, I don't know, guys, let's discuss this in them comments, tap in with your thoughts on both these stories. Make sure to sub to the channel and hit the notification bell if you're new over here. Like I always try to let you guys know, it's all about hearing what the people got to say. We got daily content, music, news, sports, current events, life, and much more. I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Peace.